You okay? Jeez Louise vlog. Jeez Louise. We have had the trip and a half getting to London. However, we've made it. We're here. Oops. Just dropped some crave there. But yeah, we've made it. We're here. We're safe. However, it was a very testing time for us to actually get here. Um, as you can see, I've got a cold sore this week. It kind of decided to grace me with its presence one day before I was due to come to London and I had events to attend to, which is amazing. Yeah, let's get the vlog started. We just spent our first night in the apartment. Could not even think about picking up the camera yesterday. I'll explain to you guys in a bit. Um, but for now, Mia's had her breakfast. She's had some milk. She's had a brioche roll. She's had half a banana. Um, I did say she wanted cereal, but she's not into it. And yeah, Marcus is still napping. I'm gonna go ahead and have some Crave. And then let's delve into it. I'm gonna show you around the place. It is actually such a gorgeous apartment. We decided to book an apartment over a hotel just so Mia had room to like run around because obviously with her like being sleep trained and stuff now we have to be home for a certain time to get to bed even though last night she went to bed very late and we just thought we will be spending a lot more t of our time in where we're staying especially when it comes to like the evening side so it just made sense to us to get an apartment especially it was coming up like the same price as a hotel so it was like a no-brainer it is huge it is practically in central London um, when we go out exploring so I'll take you guys with me we'll see what's nearby it is gorgeous whether I'll tell you where it is or what it is I'm not sure because of how much of a hassle it was however for now we're gonna enjoy it there's like two bedrooms and um, I did try to get like I was like said to my sister you should come down with us we've got this really nice place but unfortunately no one could like get the time off or make arrangements I think the handy thing is there's literally a Tesco around the corner as well so Marcus just ran out to go and get us like supplies because we thought for breakfast we might as well do breakfast in um because it all adds up when you're eating out and stuff as well especially when we'll probably be having lunch and dinner out i'm always conscious about eating at the minute with my cold sore medication on because i'm like i don't want to be eating that but obviously the hardest thing about it is not being able to kiss memes not being able to kiss that little brat i hate it so guys we have had quite a busy morning and Marcus didn't get me a dress now she just had a shower and I just thought whilst he does that let me give you a quick tour because it's already getting quite messy in here I've been pottering about trying to clean up after ourselves but anyways I'm gonna quickly I'm gonna quickly show you now because it's not gonna get any better regardless of what Marcus says so out here first of all we have balcony Um, you've not got much of like a very scenic view table and chairs there but it's quite cold so we've been keeping that shut but imagine coming back like in summer just having them doors open and just like having your breakfast outside it would be really really nice um, and then over here you have your dining room huh I'm just trying to paint a picture of yeah why am I trying to sell this apartment when our experience hasn't been great <laughs> and then over here you have a little dining area it's really spacious then you've got a little reading nook there um, you've got, I assume that's a sofa bed I think because it says this sleeps up to six people Marcus is just getting me a dress and then you've got a sofa there I think that's a sofa bed too got your little coffee table area Ruining my vlog! Come here! Put your legs in, we're lassie Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! Come here! It's got another seat there, it's full of our jackets Nice to gallery wall And then you turn around and here's the kitchen as well Which is actually really nice You've got your fridge freezer, your hob, your oven, your microwave, everything Oh my god, you guys are ruining the piece right now <laughs> And then surprisingly, you've actually got a little hallway entry And this is like upstairs, This is we're on the fourth floor Yeah, the worst thing ever Why? Oh yeah, if... Pram suitcases and yeah. You finally get to your door downstairs, which you think is your door to get in. And it's not. You open your door and, you and there's more stairs. stairs. Yeah, we really struggled with stairs last night. We had like two suitcases, Mia's pram, then we Mia sure. as well. I helped, Marcus. I helped. No, you didn't. <laughs> sure. Um, in here is just like the boiler room. And then you come down, we've got a nice little hallway. And we have toilet number one here. Three just bathrooms. Three bathrooms? Who needs three bathrooms? Three bathrooms, two bedrooms, one sofa bed. Yeah, and one random chair as well. And then 
<laughs> this is one of the bedrooms. Um, so it's like a really nice. <laughs> Be quiet! It's ruining. You're ruining my tour. <laughs> So this is one of the bedrooms, they're actually really nice sized as well, so much more spacious than a hotel and then you have, stop it Marcus, yeah. <laughs> stop it, and then you've got your wardrobes there too, um, and then head in here and both the rooms have like an ensuite. hi, so I started using this one as one to like wash our face and stuff so we don't disturb Mia because we didn't get a cot for her we've got a travel cot at home however we didn't bring it and then i didn't hire one out from here because they're charging extra for it and i was like i'm not doing that i'd rather just have her in our bed <laughs> already paid enough for the place then you've got your shower there as well so this is where we come in the mornings just to, or in the morning it's been one now to get ready and then this is the main bedroom that we've been using through here you've got another ensuite there's a shower that Mox and memes used and yeah i don't need to show you the toilet and then this is the other bedroom can't show you the floor because it's got our suitcases there and i feel like we've ruined it but yeah you've got really nice light coming in i've got the hi memes yeah don't put shoes on one second um yeah sorry i've got my ring light because i had some work to film whilst we're here this girl's obsessed with putting shoes on one second do it in a minute and then once again you've got more wardrobes here as you can see it's just a nice like big apartment mama put shoes on. come here mama, mama put shoes on come here let's put shoes on <laughs> i didn't let her down she's had the shoes on about six times today so because i'm gonna go on the balcony with papa put the, put the foot baby there we go so yeah i do really want to head out because well i've been awake since about six and it's about half 11 now so we've got our work finished so yeah i think it'll be nice to go out and explore but we just said i normally one thing mark and i were just talking about and you guys know this because you would have witnessed it in like the little edinburgh staycation i get very homesick and we were kind of talking i was like i actually feel absolutely fine like the cats are fine We've seen, well, we've tried to see them on the cameras, we've not seen them just yet, but our neighbour's been in, she's fed them and stuff, I know they're okay, and I think because we're not in like a cramped hotel room, it's actually really helped, so I don't know if that's like a way to, for me personally, saying it would work for everyone, to sort of cure the anxiety of going away, would be to maybe look at trying to get more value for our money. It was more the idea of being stuck in like a small space with like Mia getting you know like sick of being in it and not having much room to run around. <laughs> oh hey be careful. <laughs> Maybe brought Marcus to try Ralph's. I said I brought Marcus, I've never tried it myself. But I've always wanted to try it. We have just had our drinks. Um, oh, sorry, it's really bad lighting. And we're just on our way now to a burger place to try and grab some lunch um, quickly for me awake so and then we'll feed her once. Yeah, She's up as well. Where you, you drink. Yeah, I did. I showed a little bit of Ralph. The only time we'll get a decent picture of me here with a teddy bear. Because <laughs> spotted a Maribel. Mirabel. Oh, sorry. Mirabel. Mirabel. What's going on? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> this is the family, Madrigal. So we're getting that for scheme. She will love that when she wakes up. Put Marcus setting up for the gram. Setting up the burger shop. We've just come out to get some lunch and we found this halal burger spot. Yeah. I've got major hat hair right now. We are back and Marcus is just getting Mia's toys out. So it's been a really nice day out. It is like spring in london right now it's not cold at all and um, luckily i only wore like i did put like a top underneath this but i wore like a thin coat 
and I was like, oh, are we going to be warm enough? And honestly, it was gorgeous weather. It's been so nice. I kept saying to Mark, because he probably got sick of me, I was like, it feels like we're abroad. Um, just because of how it was warm, I'd say it was warm, Marcus. I would say it was warm, yeah. Would you say it was warm? <laughs> Would you? I'd say it was. So, yeah, it's been a really nice day out, but we thought we'd not push our luck with Mia. Um, obviously, she had a nap, so we're back here now. We're going to give her some playtime, let her run wild, and then we'll be ordering food in for tonight because, yeah, there's no way we're, we're taking her out. Here I was, guys, hoping to try not to talk loud because there's people in the building. Um, yeah, I was hoping to have a nice hot shower and wind down. But Marcus and I have just ordered our dinner. However, Marcus really wanted birria tacos. I just know it's something Mia won't eat. But, oh my god, I can't even go. Um, around the corner, I think there's like a halal Lebanese place. So she'll eat like rice and shawarma and stuff and whatnot. Like bits of meat. So I just thought, quickly nip out. Oh my god, I can't even go. Again, so I just thought I'd quickly nip out. And yeah, go pick up, just go pick up some food for her. Marcus gave me clear instruction and said it's out, left and straight. I've taken the left, I think. So it's just about finding the rest now. I'm hoping to find this place. Can't remember what he said it's cold, but I'm just gonna try my luck now. See whatever it is. <laughs> We did mention a fish and chip shop. There's one there. I'm pretty sure he said it's just past it. I think it's this actually. That was it, she's so easy. Got the goods. Mia's gonna be eating very, very soon. It's literally a minute around the corner. There's a place called Heber. I tried to film their logo for you guys because I mean, this food looks incredible in there. I'll have a nibble of Mia's and let you know. But they were so nice. And um, I just explained to him, I was like, I just want a bit of chicken and rice for my daughter. And he's like, I tell you what, this is the best deal for you. He was like, I don't want to charge you separately for the rice and the chicken. He went, that's haram to, you know, double up the charges and all their food's halal. And they were so nice in there. We were just having like a quick chat. So, yeah, I thought I would just pop them on there if you guys are ever in London and you're looking for nice Lebanese food. I say that, it smells nice. <laughs> I'll let you know how it tastes, it looks nice too. To be honest guys, I've got me a really simple chicken and rice. I've got to ask for like any sauce or anything or a bit of cucumber for her. However, I have just tried it and I swear to you, I'm not even just saying this. Had you'd got like the adult version of this, it is actually really nice. The chicken's not dry at all, sometimes it can be. And the rice actually has taste. So, I'm gonna feed this to Mia now. However, if you are nearby, I think I might even get lunch from there tomorrow, to be fair, because that was, it's really, really nice. Is it nice, memes? Is Mirabelle gonna have some? Oh, you're such a big girl. Well, it looks nice, but you literally get two tacos <laughs> each. Marcus, it might be quite filling, you don't know. Let's try it. What's Mimi getting in? Playing Good morning, guys. Well, not good morning. Why did I just say that? It's because I thought I was starting the vlog in the morning. It's not. It is to in London. It's actually nearly 4 pm, I think, or past. Oh no, it's half three. Half three at the moment. We got up this morning, we got dressed, had a bit of breakfast at home while Mia did. Marcus and I didn't. Um, I did a little bit of work and then we headed out for the day. We went and picked up, you would have seen by now, the most gorgeous pastries. Marcus and I ate like the big chocolate like bomb thing that was so good. We picked up some pastries, we went and had like a burger for lunch. And then we were gonna go to, someone recommended, some gardens um it's not it's not an actual garden it's i don't know it's called london gardens or something but it's like a rooftop thing anyways we're on our way there i should not have mentioned the weather yesterday it started like raining a lot and then mia had wouldn't like i tried to get down for a nap in the pram would not work and then of course she got very overtired so she was like very like 
irritated and agitated and it got to the point we were walking we had 20 minutes to walk we just flagged down a black cab and we just came straight back <laughs> to the apartment um luckily i've managed to oh, see she's been crying on me but it's actually ruining my dress um luckily i managed to get down for sleep now so she's down for a nap Marx is joining her but my god the weather is miserable today it's actually really cold compared to yesterday as well i wish i didn't even say anything there you go would you like some cookie <gasps> nice try it you'd like a drink do you want to have some water feels very strange taking Mia out at this time because normally it's wind down for bed but she's had a very long nap so she won't be going for bed oh, anytime soon <laughs> Marcus is complaining about my pregnancy brain um, it is our final day <laughs> Of this it's been yeah it's been testing anyways day three in london we are just off to Gemma's event and um, she launched her book on saving money being money mom so yeah we're just heading to that we've checked out the hotel i still need to tell you guys what happened and then we are gonna go home i guess which i'm so excited for but we'll let you know guys happy sunday i don't know if you've seen this on monday or sunday um i basically just recorded this little part and i realized i was waffling so much i didn't make any sense i was like oh here's a start again but i just thought i'd quickly come off on come on here and round up on the vlog because you probably just heard me whinge so much and were like why was this girl whinging i'm not going to go into too much detail i'll just tell you little bits and bobs of what happened this trip is definitely one that we've learned a lot from i the reason i'm mentioning it is because I got through it we were all right i mean it's not as dramatic as that but i had a lot of anxiety about going away for a few days anyway and i do generally get like that like you guys saw in like the edinburgh vlog and whatnot and a situation like this definitely did not help that however it did teach me the fact that even though i went away and got through so many different obstacles especially with a child that i made it so i'm not gonna let it put me off any like future things um however i've also learned i will not be taking me away on any trips so i've got anything work related on it because <laughs> it just does not work with a child let me tell you a little bit about what happened the apartment people were an absolute nightmare the apartment itself was gorgeous we decided to book an apartment so that mia could have more room and having a look at london hotel prices it actually like cost us about the same so it totally made sense it was like a two-bed apartment you had the kitchen the living space everything that you saw so it was it was gorgeous on the way going so i booked the apartment they did not confirm my booking until we were half an hour away from the apartment itself as we drive down to london so on the day itself we held back on driving down because we still had like no proper confirmation about where we were going what we were doing then on top of that we couldn't find the car keys and marcus and i searched the house for two hours trying to find the car keys and bear in mind i had an event to attend that evening so it was, it was a very stressful day to begin with so we're on our way i'm ringing the apartment no one's answering i'm ringing again and again i'm not getting any answer they're then telling me that you need to show the card that you booked the apartment on bear in mind they've already taken the money out for the apartment so i was like look i don't have that card you've already taken the money out i've sent you my proof of id so maybe that was a fault on my behalf but i was like you know what can we do and like, well you have to pay on another card that you do have and i said okay i can do that but then refund me for the first amount and then i'll make another payment i'm not gonna do it twice especially when the communication has been so slack like to begin with because you don't know and I tried also getting in touch with them via the booking service that we use as well by the website and even they couldn't get through to them. So it's stressing me out and then they said you need to pay the damage deposit which we knew about. So they sent me the link and they sent me the link twice and I kept telling them that the link you sent me was taking me to some Canadian PayPal website to purchase something. And I was like you've not sent me the correct link like it was really weird. And then eventually they went okay we'll email you for the damage deposit so they sent me the email it was quite a big like deposit as well and um, which i assume is just because they don't want people to use the apartment for parties and stuff whilst we're in london which is understandable so anyways i went ahead and made the pay payment and paypal held it for review so i screenshot it to send it to them saying i've made the payment but it is under review and then i didn't hear back from them 
and then literally half an hour before we arrived we got the confirmation of where to pick up the keys from we got there we were rushing we got on you know we parked the car up i had to get an uber to take us to like the actual destination itself by the time i'd got there i was literally already running late for the event so i had to drop all the bags off or drop me remarks off up four flights of stairs by the way i can't remember this we mentioned on the booking there's four flights of stairs where two suitcases a pram and a child that we had to carry all the way up there and then once we got, got there to throw everything run out to go to the event got to the event realized i left one of my phones in the uber luckily the guy was so so incredibly nice so it was a good start so so incredibly nice and then um i got in touch with him uh via the app and he was like if you want i can drop it off free of charge at the end of my shift and i was like thank you that's so kind obviously i did tip him because i was like that was he was just a very very nice guy giving us all my recommendations and then anyways i've still not heard back from these people and next thing i know the following day the apartments then charged me a ridiculous amount on my card without my permission they'd authorized like double what the apartment cost us they'd authorized a payment on my card without even speaking to me about it so i was i absolutely lost it i was like i've had such a bad time even getting here why on earth have you taken all this money out and they went oh we apologize we can see that paypal has come through now um so we'll refund it i was like it's not good enough you can't just take money out and plus it wasn't even for the damage deposit it was even more and i was like you can't just do that so i had to get in touch with my bank to tell them like look how can we stop these guys taking any more money out we're like well we know we'll promise we'll refund it we'll refund it obviously days went by they'd still not done it so i had to message them again and do you know what probably so much more even happened whilst this was going on but i just can't remember at this point it's been like a bad memory that my brain wants to block anyways eventually we got there and they'd refunded me the large amount but they caused me so much headache they, they weren't like really apologetic apologetic or anything like that at all um i just couldn't yeah i said to mark so and even though we contemplated would we book them again i was like oh definitely would not no matter how nice the place was after that there's no way like and there's no way i could even recommend them or i would even think about booking anywhere like that again whilst we were there in london and mia had her tantrums here there as you would expect with a toddler but it's mainly because like her nap times were out of whack but we just worked with it some days were good some days were bad but then on the way coming back i really need to wrap this up on the way coming back we'd dragged our suitcases everything downstairs down four flights of stairs we then decided to walk to the car this time so we've got the pram we've got the suitcases we've got mia screaming her head off we walk into the car park we finally get there and it's like about a 10 minute walk if it's just two of us it's fine but when you've got that much going on is it feels like a lifetime so we got there and mark's like okay where's the car keys like car keys like we lost these for two hours before we left in london please don't tell me that you've left me and my baby brain in charge of these car keys i'm searching my bags it's like it's not here it's got to be back at the apartment and honestly i was just like i can't go through this again <laughs> so the kind man at the car park let us leave our stuff there so we got me here and we just went back to the apartment i, I waited downstairs mark's con running upstairs to go find the keys like it's not here so it's not in the apartment and I was like, we can't even leave London in peace. Like, what are we going to do? Anyways, right, Marcus, just double check your bag. He had his backpack on, which we didn't bother checking in the car park. Lo and behold, the keys were in his backpack. So, yeah, it was <laughs> stressful to say the least. There was a lot that went on. We made it. We survived. There's a lot of worse things going on right now. This is like the least thing to complain about. But I think I just wanted to show that even though I was so worried about going in the first place, it was a complete disastrous trip because there was so much more that even happened that I'm not even going to delve into. But even like when we went to one of the events, we had to leave within like 10 minutes because Amir was having none of it. So it was very, very tricky. It wasn't all like food out all the time and this and that. I'm not going to say it's put me off. I'm still going to attempt to go, to go and do stuff and just i think it sort of got rid of my fear a little bit of like leaving the house in the first place for longer periods of time because i just think if things do, do happen you can just deal with it or try your best as much as you can and it to be honest it was a really testing a stressful situation i don't know if any of this made sense you guys you know what i'm like when i waffle a lot went on i think there's so many more details that i missed out but 
to be honest i couldn't pick up the camera when all the crap was kicking off because i was too busy dealing with the crap but i thought i'd quickly round up on this vlog and tell you yeah it was a disastrous tri trip to london learned many lessons i won't be going for any apartments <laughs> that have that many requirements ever again and yeah we'll see i don't think i can be taking me on anything that might be slightly work related either in the future because it just does not work you don't get any of it done but yeah i hope you've all had a much better week than i have catch up with you guys with hopefully a lot more of an interesting vlog next week Take care of yourselves i don't know how much of that made sense but here we are <laughs> bye